Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Omar, and today we'll create this drawing in uh, SolidWorks. This will be practice exercise 20 of this playlist, and uh, I will use this drawing uh, as a reference to create this part. Okay, so let's go to your SolidWorks, and remember I'm using SolidWorks 2020. Select part and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So first of all, as usual, I will check my units. You can see that my units are in MNGS and uh, now I will start from the top plane. Let's go to the drawing. First I will create this base part and you can see these dimensions. So I will create a rectangle. So I use top plane. Let's go to the uh, Now you can see that we have an extrusion of 16 millimeters. So let's go to SolidWorks again and exit. I'll go to features, extruded boss, and I will extrude it up to 16 millimeters and select OK. So this base is done. Next is I will create uh, these two holes, and you can see that the diameter is 16, and this diameter is also 16. And you can see that it is 25 from here and 25 from here. One very important thing uh, to notice here, uh, this block is 56 and this is 25, so it is not symmetric, okay? So let's go to SOLIDWORKS again and uh, I will select this face, select this sketch, view normal, select circle and I will make one circle here and I will make one circle here. Okay, let's dimension it. Let's go to a smart dimension, this diameter is 16 millimeters and I will select this one. Hold control, I will select this one and I will select this option make equal. So let's uh, dimension this and uh, this is 25 and uh, this is also 25. Uh, you can see that this uh, color is black which means that it is fully defined this one but it is not fully defined. So let's select this point, select this point and make them horizontal. And also, uh, you can see that I can still drag uh, here. So let's go to a smart dimension, select this edge, select this one, and this would be 25. Now you can see that this complete sketch is fully defined. You can see here as well, and you can see that uh, two circles are, uh, uh, these colors are uh, turned into black, which means that it is fully defined. Uh, let's go to the features. This time I will use uh, you know, cutout. So select this option, extruded cut. And I will use this option through all and select OK. So our base part is done. And next is I will create this cylinder. And you can see that this dimension, the outer one is 50, this one, and the inner one is 25. Okay, and it is 36 millimeters away from this base part and uh, 75 away from here. So let's make it. Uh, let's choose front pane, select sketch, view normal. And I will make two circles here, one circle here and one circle here. Let's dimension this. Uh, this one is 50 and the smaller one is 25, half of the bigger one. Uh, let's dimension this and let's go to a smart dimension, select this edge, select this center and this dimension is 36 units. Now you can check this. This one is 36 from this edge to this one. This one is 36. And now I will give this dimension, it is 75. So let's go to the smart dimension. So this dimension is 75. I will select this one and I will select this one. And this dimension is 75 millimeters. So you can see that it is fully defined and now I can exit this sketch. Let's rotate it. Uh, you can see that we have an extrusion and uh, this extrusion is 56 and this extrusion is 66 and 5 millimeters uh, we have extra extrusion here and we have 5 millimeters here okay so we can use mid plane extrusion let's go to a solidworks and uh, i'll go to a extruded boss i will select this sketch and i'll go to the contour and now i will use mid plane extrusion and this extrusion would be 66 and uh, select ok and now you can see that we have 5 millimeters extrusion here and we have 5 millimeter extrusion here that is the advantage of using mid plane extrusion uh, let's hide this and uh, let's use 
this one plain white okay uh, now i will create this slot and uh, this is the most important step of this exercise so let's make it let's go to here solidworks and uh, this time let's say i will use uh, this face okay and uh, uh, if i am using this face so i have to use uh, multi direction extrusion that is one extrusion here and one upon extrusion here okay so let's select this face select the sketch view normal and uh, i will create slot this one center point arc slot so center point is this one and uh, i will drag it up to maybe here and now i can draw this slot okay so you can see that uh, this dimension is 60 and this uh, dimension is 75 basically this one is the PCD so let's go to here SOLIDWORKS and uh, let's say this dimension is 60 and this dimension is 75 and uh, also this point is uh, coincident with this one so let's make one center line Let's go to here center line. I will make one center line here and I will make it vertical. And now you can see that it is same as this one. Let's go to the solid box again and uh, this time I will use another center line joining this point to this point. And now you can see that it is also fully defined. Okay. Let's make four circles. One circle, let's say this point, one circle here one circle here and one circle here so i will select all these circles and i will use equal relation and uh, this dimension is 12 you can see that diameter is 12 units let's go to a smart dimension and let's make it 12. And now you can see that uh, it is still under defined you can see that i can still drag this circle and i can still drag this circle so basically i have to constrain these you can see that uh, dimension is given 30 degree and it is also 30 degree. This one is 30 degree from y axis and this one is 30 degree from x axis. So let's make two center lines. One center line here and uh, one center line here. Let's dimension this. This dimension is 30 degree and this dimension from y axis is 30 degrees and now you can see that this slot and these circles are fully defined now i can make extrusion so it would be a very tricky step so you can see that extrusion is uh, 17 and uh, you can see that we have uh, 5 millimeters extrusion here and we have 12 millimeter extrusion here so let's go to the solid box and uh, let's first exit this sketch i'll go to the extruded boss and this time i will use let's say this option and i will select this face and uh, in the first direction i will use five millimeter extrusion and in the second direction i will use uh, 12 millimeter extrusion 17 minus 12 will give you five so 5 millimeters this one this side right side and 12 millimeters left side so let's use uh, blind and i will dimension this as 12 and select okay and this uh this dimension is uh, uh i will check this dimension later okay uh, now i will make this part so let's go to the solidworks and uh, this time i will sketch on this face okay because this face is parallel to this face i will select this face select the sketch view normal and uh, i will make let's say one center line joining this point to this point and i'll go to here offset entities i will offset it to 15 and select okay and you can see that we have two lines 30 millimeters apart so i have used 15 and uh, uh, i have used a center line and i have used offset 15 15. so let's go to solidworks and now i will use this option as convert entity tool this one 
now I'll use this circle as convert entity and uh, now I will trim the unnecessary part I will trim this one, I will trim this one, this one and uh, this one now you can see that we have uh, an error here uh, we can solve this, just go to here click here and uh, click here diagnose and it is showing that I have to delete this relation so I will accept it and that's it. Now you can see that it is fully defined and I can use it. Uh, just rotate it and uh, I'll go to the features, extruded loss and I will use this part as my extrusion in reverse and uh, this uh, this dimension is 12 units so I will change it to 12, merge result and select OK. And now you can see that we have uh, this part and uh, we have two uh, more extrusions left one extrusion here and one extrusion here so let's make it let's go to the solid box and this time i will sketch on let's say this face okay select this face select sketch view normal and uh, i will convert this line and i will convert this circle as well and now I will make uh, let's say one center line here and I will make one line up to here okay uh, let's trim this apart and uh, now you can see that we have a radius here and this radius is uh, 6 millimeter you can see that R6 uh, let's make uh, one center line uh, okay first i will make uh, this arc three point arc up to here and uh, i will use tangent relation and i will use tangent relation here as well now uh, you can see that it is still underdefined so let's trim this part and let's drag this to here i will use this option merged result I will make one center line. I will use this relation tangent. Okay, it is still underdefined, so I will dimension it. This dimension is six units, and now you can see that it is fully defined. So uh, I have to trim this part and this part, and now you can see that this contour. So basically, I have to extrude this contour up to here, uh, up to fifty-six. Uh, millimeter so I'll just rotate it uh, I'm making these extrusions separately so that you can clearly uh, follow this tutorial let's uh, let's exit it I'll go to extruded boss and this time I will use let's say this option up to vertex and I will use this vertex and check ok so uh, lastly I will use another extrusion and uh, this extrusion is this one this one so i'll go to here solid work i will check this face check a sketch view normal and uh, first i will make one line up to maybe let's say here and uh, let's use convert entity tool so first i'll go to a convert entity i will select this one and i will select ok so now this uh, edge is converted and now I will make uh, one line you can see that it is 27 uh, millimeter extrusion uh, this is 16 and this is 27 so I will make one line here and it is 27 millimeters away from this edge so let's try 27 okay so now you can see that uh, we have a radius here uh, basically we have a flat line here and then a radius so let's make this flat line vertical line and uh, i will select this point and i will select this point and i will use this option merge result now i can use this option fill it uh, i can manually create this uh, three uh, three point arc or this radius as i did for this but i will use uh, here fill it so this fill it is r6 i will select this one and select ok uh, next is uh, I will create uh, one center line 
up to here and now I will use uh, one flat line now I will join this line to this one and similarly I will make another fillet here R6 and select OK now I will use this line as convert entity tool and I will use this part I will trim the unnecessary part and now you can see that this contour is ready for extrusion and this extrusion is uh, only 12 mm so let's go to a SOLIDWORKS and uh, let's rotate it and I'll go to features extruded boss and I will extrude the reverse uh, 12 mm and select OK now you can see that this part is ready Uh, now I will check this part uh, whether it is correct or not so let's say first I will check uh, this dimension that is 12 so let's go to here evaluate measure I will select this edge and this edge and you can see that it is 12 that is 12 here similarly uh, let's say I will check this dimension should be 17 so just clear this I go to a major select this face rotate it and select this face and you can see that this extrusion is 17 millimeters similarly I can check uh, let's say this dimension 36 from the bottom to this center of the circle and let's go to here evaluate I will select this edge and I will select this circle and now you can see that the distance in y axis is 36 millimeters this is the straight distance in this axis and uh, let's say I want to check this arc it is R90 so let's check it out select this one and now you can see that this radius is 90 we can also check uh, this overall length it is 165 millimeters you can see that 165 millimeters and uh, lastly I will check let's say this one this one should be 5 and this one should be 5 so let's clear this and uh, I will select this face and I will check this face sorry I'll go to a measure again I will select this face and I will check this face and now you can see that the distance in Z axis is 5 let's rotate it so that uh, we can clearly see this difference measure I will select this one select this one now you can see that this distance is 5 millimeters so it is 5 here and it is 5 here similarly 5 here and this is the slot 17 millimeter slot 12 millimeters here and 5 millimeters here uh, let's apply some appearance before uh, finishing this tutorial Let's go to your appearance and uh, let's say I will apply copper and I will use this appearance. So that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it and if you have any questions, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.